let's head over to findmylifeup.com. Scroll down or search for the guide on turning your Raspberry Pi into a retro game emulator. Firstly, let's download the Retro Pi software by heading over to their website. Download the Retro Pi project SD card image, the 2.3 file. Let's head back to Pi My Life Up and head over to the SD Association's website to get the formatting tool we need. Click on Download SD Formatter for Windows or Mac, depending on what you're using. Click I Accept and your download should start automatically. Now we need a disk imager, so let's head back to Pi My Life Up and click on the link to download the Win32 disk imager. Click download and your download should start automatically. Once downloaded, you will need to install each of the tools. Let's start with the SD formatter. Open the SD formatter up and it should have automatically chosen the right drive for your SD card. But it's best to check, just in case. Mine is F, for example. Once confirmed, proceed and format the SD card. Next, let's install the Win32 disk imager. When it's finished installing, it should automatically launch. Navigate to where we download the RetroPi image. In my case, it's in the download folder. Double check it's on the right drive. Mine is F, so that is correct. Then click Right. Once done, exit and safely remove the SD card from your computer. Now plug all the cords you need into the Raspberry Pi and don't forget the SD card of course. Turn the power on and it will go through a boot process. Once done, you can configure your controller or keyboard. Now you can take the time to enjoy some of the games that are already installed on the SD card. If you're looking to get more games on there, then please read my article or see my next video on getting files onto the Pi. Subscribe to me for more amazing projects. Also, if you're looking to learn more about the Pi, get my free crash course right here.